Welcome back to Twitter Universe. Welcome back to Chaos Corner. Obviously, it's your old buddy, the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, because I tell it like it is. And I'll say that to say this. This week in pro wrestling history, we're going to continue with this segment. We have a lot of important dates to run down, so let's get right to it, fans. This week in pro wrestling history, 1966, Fritz Von Erich defeats Johnny Valentine in Fort Worth, Texas for the NWA American Heavyweight title. 1983, Tatsumi Fujinami defeats Ricky Choshu in Tokyo, Japan for the World Wrestling Federation International Heavyweight title. 1984, the Super Medics defeat the Invaders in San Juan, Puerto Rico for the World Wrestling Council World Tag Team titles. 1989, Cactus Jack, yes, Mick Foley, and Scott Braddock defeat Jeff Jarrett and Maniac Matt Bourne for the world-class tag team titles, which would become the USWA titles. 2003, Monday Night Raw had a 4.0 rating, 4 million people compared to what they get nowadays at about one and a half. That night, Vince returned. Linda McMahon, Shane McMahon, that was the infamous Katie Vick angle involving Kane. Uh, uh, obviously, Goldberg, Flair, Triple H, JR, they were all there in 2003 with a four rating. 1997, the Monday Night Wars. WCW stomped the WWE that night and they did a 4.4. The ratings were unbelievable. That's what we talk about nowadays with AEW and NXT. 4.4 million. Raw did a 2.7 million that week, 1997. That's when Luger beat Hogan for the WCW title. And on Raw, to counter-program, they had Triple H and Vader and a double DQ. And Mick Foley again pops up as dude love over Owen Hart. Also that night in WCW, it was Diamond Dallas Page over Ric Flair and Chris Benoit over six, which was X-Pac, as we all know. Fans, I'll be right back with part two from Chaos Corner. This week in pro wrestling history. Don't you dare miss it. <laughs> 